Good morning. Wow. It is already a brand new month, isn't it? September 1st. And I'm going to share the whole month of August, how Lord has blessed and did his work. And so, Father, we thank you. As I share, Lord, be glorified. You are the only one, Lord, who needs to be recognized, Father, for the things that you've done. Oh, we're so thankful, grateful, Lord, in Jesus' name. Um, March of this year, I did um, 28 Days of Miracle. And then it dawned on me that man um as one who is a kirk guardian one who live want to live out one's faith not just talk about faith but have that existential expression of faith hmm the month of July has become living like Kierkegaard, July 2023rd. And August kicked in and I'm doing the same thing. I realized, gosh, there's so much to share. You know, and, and I thought, you know, the stuff that I write and do it through YouTube, um, it's massive volume, actually. Um, and kind of talks I do and kind of appointments I keep and stuff that happened in my life, I realized that I shouldn't just keep it. I should make it a little more public and so that people could be challenged and maybe start the journey of following Christ in more realistic, in real life, instead of just um, conceptualizing faith that's not really real. So this is my crack at that, you know, sharing what I've done last 31 days in August. First day started out, and it was an incredible day actually to start because I wrote my first 10,000. So prayer. Um, I don't know why, 27 years and like six months ago, 27 years and six months ago, I said, you know what? I'm going to write one prayer a day. So I wrote 27, six months ago, prayer number one, two, three, four, like that. Well, August 1st, I wrote my prayer number 10,000 in my diary. And so in my diary, uh, has a sectioned off. And the bottom part is like a prayer. But on August 10th, first, I, this is 10,000. The entire day was a prayer, written prayer. So I write prayer. And it was so awesome to actually hit 10,000 uh, prayer after 27 years and six months later. <laughs> Try it. There are so many testimonies. <laughs> it's like so many God answering uh, prayer. You know, every time I meet somebody, I actually would write prayer before. Uh, every meeting, every appointment, every lunch, every dinner I had in August will be in prior, week in advance, or a few days in advance, pray for. And Lord will give insight. And I will just execute on that, you know. The, the, my attitude toward that person or what kind of um, expectation and and God does just tremendous work as I go through that. Uh, I spend a lot of time ministering. Uh, <clears throat> I preached and share at our OSS House Wednesday morning devotion. OSS House has devotion every single day. Of course, I cannot join them. Uh, but time to time on Wednesday devotion, I would come and actually share um, and just really encourage them. 
August 3rd, I became 44 years old, <laughs> spiritually speaking. I became 44 years old and the next day we're having lunch with my college buddies. These are the brothers I met 1979 at UC Berkeley. 44 years later, uh, four of us are now living in Phnom Penh. My goodness. Two as a missionaries and two as just, uh, yeah, non-missionary status. But it's amazing how God can bring all friends together. Uh, we host a missionary couple from China. They want to be a missionary to Cambodia. So now we're helping them maybe locate, find a place. Uh, that Sunday, I preached at Encounter House. It's a house church. Um, the house church became too big now. So after that worship, they start meeting at my place. And so last week, we almost had like 40 people. So that's kind of crazy. And um, I always do a very simple prayer, preaching. You know, when I preach to, especially there are some Kamai young kids. And I said, just do fa, right? Do you know fa, right? You go, yes, just do fa. Pray, hear, and obey. Uh, one of those uh, days I was visiting uh, Brown Cafe because I'm doing coffee shop hunting. And I'm writing uh, another book on drinking coffee with Kierkegaard book. Um, it, it will become an annual edition on top of uh, when I do complete maybe now 1,000 coffee, then I'll do another one, but it will be more of an annual thing. And as I do research on coffee, I'll share that as well uh, in my book. Uh, one crazy thing happened. I actually started uh, swimming. And I said, you know what? Why don't I actually, um, why don't I swim for, um, qualify for Ironman? <laughs> it's kind of wild. <laughs> Ironman is you need to swim 2.4 miles or basically 4,000 kilometers. And so that's the day, August 8th, I said, you know what? I'm going to go for it. And I start, start swimming every day. Uh, and I'll sh share with you later what happened. Uh, August 9th, uh, CPTI, that's the school that I teach at, and uh, it was 65 kids graduated, and two of these these guys are now professors and working. I think this guy's a professor. He's one of the key leaders now. And these are my THM students. I taught them a couple of years ago. It's always great to see. Uh, Disciples of Christ being matured. And this is the book that I co-authored as uh, one, one of the um, commentator. And this is a book. Uh, and it was chosen as a book to be read in World Korean Christian Media Association, which is, wow, that's fantastic. We hosted a breakfast meeting with uh, a singer. He's a professional singer, but pastor, singer Noah and his wife. And she does a... Uh, uh, art therapy. So she was so happy to come to our house. Jenny went to Chiang Mai for two weeks with her crew. Uh, five of them went, uh, OSS house staff and ongoing training. And gosh, she was sick for like almost three, three weeks. And I didn't know she could make it, but right before the trip, she got well enough. And so she went. And so I had uh, two weeks free. I actually was scheduled to go to three countries, um, Philippines, Brunei, and Malaysia. But, you know, I said, you know what? I, I need rest. I've been to six countries in July, and I don't want to go to another three countries. And not that I had a meetings either, so I didn't have to go. And actually, I was going to go Brunei, Philippines, and Vietnam. But you have to go through Malaysia if you want to go um, but so i stayed and like minister locally this is the children of light church i love that church um, and i they were doing lord's supper i was mentoring this brother he wanted to be a missionary to cambodia i think three years ago uh, and then we start doing i start training him or doing mentoring him just practical stuff nothing heavy and but now he's going to get married in December to 
her. He's a uh, Kamai fiance, and so he's gonna do well. He's just so much in love for the Lord and love with that gal. <laughs> so it's good to see. Uh, August 15 was a very important day for us, for me, because 10 years ago, Cambodia Research and Resource Center began. Uh, and we've been publishing books together. Uh, all four of, uh, uh, four of us, uh, he, he got his doctorate at Fuller. He's got his doctorate from school in America. He got his master in Korea. And so four of us, four, 10 years ago, we really had no degree. But our actually research brought us to the next level. I swam my first 2.7 miles, 4,324. Wow. And realized that I could qualify for uh, Ironman, which is, which is kind of crazy because I started thinking maybe I should in August 8th and within seven days that I, I, hit, this, I hit that mark. Uh, I was visiting Phnom Penh Bible School and I was having uh, lunch with the chancellor uh, we're trying to see if I could teach there and use uh, Pastor Pang's book. Um, this is a book that I've been distributing and teaching at CPTI. And so Missionary Kim, he's going to have about 60 pastors meeting and he asked for books. I said, of course. And, and I just, he's been a good friend for more, almost 20 years. Um, Jenny's book uh, was being edited and they said, well, uh, and so we did the final edition, and of course it was published. And I and then I start qualifying for Ironman swim three times, right? Uh, and then I decided to just swim four thousand kilo, two point five miles, constantly. Uh, Hun Sen's son, uh, Hun Manet, became the prime minister of Cambodia. That's a huge news for us. Uh, my book was published, and we start now using commentary of lamentation. So August 23rd, the lamentation of Jeremiah uh, start begin at Dr. Babo TV. And uh, 27th, I was ministering at this church called Phnom Penh Tamai. Uh, it's a church that I always go to and minister because uh, I really respect the missionary there. Jenny got back from Chiang Mai. They, <laughs> she fell and cut her hand um, and it was so difficult for her and uh, but well just a few days ago her book jenny's book now is published or and sold at yes 24 yes 24 is sort of like amazon of korea you could order book literally in korea when you order book in the morning they deliver to you in the afternoon that quick right it's crazy pray pray that this book would reach many, many, many people who needs to hear. Uh, this is Joe Couple, and he asked me, uh, he said, can you come and talk to the heads of agency? And I thought he was kidding, but actually his official meeting is called Heads of Agencies. And if you are either CEO, founder, or the, you have to be the head of the agency. So there was a head of Mennonites there, head of Anglican Church there, head of so it was kind of neat uh, and, and for me to actually share uh, my PhD. And it was just connecting with these guys. And there are 33 of them. It was just a wonderful time. Uh, the last day, look at this. I did 4,000 kilo, 2.10 days in a straight. Uh, wow. You know, that's just so amazing. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. But, um, well, prove myself wrong. Um, yesterday, uh, Jenny, uh, the, uh, August, August 30th, uh, Jenny couldn't celebrate her birthday with her Oasis crew. Uh, I realized, including the volunteers, we have nine staff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight staff, including Jenny, nine. Wow, that's just amazing how Oasis House ministry grew. And uh, putting it all together, I uh, published Living Like Kierkegaard, August 23rd. It's published. It's in Kindle. The paperback hasn't been approved yet. But I thought, hey, you know, uh, we were kind of goofing off in our chat room, uh, old family chat room. And my sisters uh, and sister-in-law, two sisters and sister-in-law took a picture. And I was kind of 
playing with it uh, and and I decide to use that as the book cover for Living Like Kierkegaard, August 2023. Living Like Kierkegaard, September is also uh, in the process of being made. Our month has been uh, crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm just, every time, end of the month, I reflect and realize, wow. It's just crazy how um, two books has been published and uh, I did seven days of intense Kamai learning and six days of dieting dinner fast and, and, and preached and shared 69 times. Wow. God is good. So Father, we thank you. I lift up month of august to you be glorified be exalted father let september be anointed one as well father you be glorified lord we thank you we praise you give you glory in jesus name amen lord bless you i'll see you tomorrow Mwah.